World J. Bob, the video game slob, coming back at you here. Um, little pickups uh, before we even get to um, the garage sales and all the cool stuff going on this weekend. Um, the video game convention, all sorts of weird flea markety stuff going on. Uh, but during the week's been pretty good. Uh, today's Thursday morning, so I haven't had a chance to do any picking today. I do have to work. So, you know, I'm not sure if I'll get anything picked up or not on lunch, but I probably will go garage selling on lunch a little bit. But those tend not to do too well. Uh, but anyway, I was out uh, yesterday, happened to be by a Barnes & Noble, and they had this on clearance, Buffy the Vampire Slayer the board game, 20 bucks. Uh, it still looks like it's selling in the $40 range, so uh, these are pretty cool. If you have one of those Barnes & Nobles or Books of Millions, um, check them out. Sometimes they have cool video game stuff or related items. Sometimes they just have, now they stock Legos and board games and all sorts of things. So you never really know uh, what's going to show up in their clearance bins. So pro tip, check those places out. Um, when I took some stuff to the video game store the other day, uh, he got some new 360 controllers in. And you know I love all the controller variants and all the stuff like this. Now these do need sticks replaced, but um, if you watch the other videos, you know I got about a gross of these sticks left um, from fixing a bunch of controllers for him and a bunch of controllers that I had that needed sticks. So um, that's no problem. So uh, 15 bucks for the pair, I think is a pretty good deal. I swear I have a colorway variant of this already, but I guess I didn't have this color version. So uh, that's kind of weird, but kind of cool. The Modern Warfare 3, I still need this system. So. Um, hopefully now I can just find the system only cheap um, and I'll have that. So that would be cool. Uh, let's see, a little Scooby-Doo Game Boy Color. I doubt that's worth anything. Monsters, Inc. I think I've had a dozen times, so that's crap. About the only good game from that lot was uh, Super Mario Advanced Yoshi's Island 3 and 007 Nightfire, which I don't think has any value. We think maybe it's a $10 Yoshi's Island game. So those will be going to the convention, uh, not the one I'm going to this weekend, but next weekend. Um, there's that. I paid 45 bucks for those games. Um, this really good looking Game Boy Advance, but no back. So I don't know. I'm stuck between should I order something on China for this or just keep it like this and wait to stack up the whole bunch and make a bulk order. I'm not really sure. So uh, for right now, it is what it is. Uh, but if you figure 45 for everything, uh, you probably got $10 off on that game, so that's like 35 bucks. So 15 bucks on that, probably not a bad deal. Which means I paid 20 bucks again for another one of these, and you're probably thinking I'm just making this up, but I just keep finding these things. Um, it did not work, and so my buddy, when I said this one got rained on and didn't work anymore, said, did you try pulling the batteries on them? So I went last night, uh, pulled the batteries out of a one, or pulled the battery out of one that worked, um, put it in these two, and they fired up just perfectly. So this one's battery was kind of bulging, probably ready to explode due to being out in the rain. So there's a little follow-up from that video. So this one was a dollar, if you didn't check that video out, and it works perfectly. Um, also a 101. And so yeah, this one I paid probably 20 bucks for if you're doing the accounting there. Um, also a 101 and it works magnificently. I mean, it's not gem mint. You can see some scratching on top or whatever, but as far as like, you know, good looking physical shape, not bad. So, um, I'm going to keep hoarding these. Um, these are just within arm's reach, but <laughs> you'll remember I picked these up recently. So anyway, so there's a, a, a little bit of the SP 101 collection. Um, and so you can get the batteries for these things. I ordered a pair of them for like $11.50 or something like that. So basically six bucks a battery. So I'll be in at 26 bucks and seven bucks. Really not a bad deal. So yeah, buy those if they're broken. You can fix them. It's not tough. All you need is a screwdriver, pop out the battery. You're good to go. Um, a little Goodwill buys here. Uh, Guinness World Records Gamers Edition 2017. I now need 2013 to keep my run going. Um, and the Game Shark Ultimate Codes 2004, so pretty cool book. But then I looked it up, and there's one for 2005, so uh, apparently that's part of a run. And then just a sealed official Goodyear uh, blimp puzzle. I don't know. We'll see if we can get any money out of that. But for a dollar, I just thought it was worth a shot. There's no comps on eBay, so I really don't know what it's worth. But uh, hang with me. Hopefully, we'll get some footage of some kick butt garage sales. Blah. 
Hello world, J-Bob the video game slob. Here with you a little Thursday, uh, like I said, afternoon, lunch hour, uh, garage sale picking if we can get by the world's craziest truck there. Um, seeing what we can find, so this might be deleted footage or this might be the start of something cool, so let's see what we can get on a Thursday afternoon pick. Right, I see a sign here that says garage sale, let's follow this thing around. Looks like we have another sign here telling me to go right, so I'm gonna do that. Let's see where that leads us here, all right. Well, this is what sucks about doing uh, garage sale hunting, and I really don't like going to singletons or one-offs um, because I've now chased two signs uh, as far as I can really go and haven't found either two garage sales, and so um, now we're pretty much halfway through the uh, lunch uh, break here and I've only found that one garage sale and it was pretty terrible. Uh, there is another sign down this other way, um, but that's the way garage sailing goes and that's the way, uh, or the reason I guess, that I really don't like trying to chase garage sale signs and do drive arounds because it doesn't tend to be the best use of your time. Found one, looks like a bunch of baby stuff. There you go, that sale lasted all of about 10 seconds of walking up, looking at a bunch of baby items. That's literally all they had was baby items and walking out so I'll see if we can find one more before I have to head back to the office. All right well I was lucky enough to find one on the way here so let's take a look at this. So not a super great pickup at that last garage sale. A quarter each, Madden 10, uh, Baseball 2K6, FIFA 10, and Wii Blazing Angels. So that'll probably be all I find today but there you go. Uh, pulled up at another sale. We'll see if there's anything here but after this I gotta go back to work. That was it. That ends the ride. That one was just so bad. There really wasn't anything in that either. Um, and even if there was, uh, there was an odor of cat pee that was extraordinarily strong because I don't have a great nose. And so when I can smell like cat pee like that, then oh my lord. So uh, pretty big bust, but uh, we did get four games. So I guess that's not the uh, an absolute zero, but it's probably a .5 or a 1 out of 10. So there you go. We'll hit it up tomorrow. Hopefully Friday will be a lot more interesting. We'll talk to you later, YouTube. Keep on grinding. All right. Well, nothing fun there, but uh, let's keep rolling, see if we can find another. I didn't have to wait till Friday. I just went and hit the Goodwill after work because it'd be the last time I'm in town for a while. Spent $3.74. Picked up the Pokemon Trader uh, tra Trainer video for the um, trading cards, so I don't know. Hopefully that's worth 50 cents. I don't know, but I took a chance. So last time I was here, I showed you I got a video game. This time, no case, or no, just case, no game, but it's Sonic 3, so that's got to be worth a buck, I think, and the Lord of the Rings, the board game. So, hey, two bucks on that. So I think that's a pretty good deal. I'm glad they brought VHSs back. Maybe they're bringing video games back. Who knows? Uh, could be cool. We'll see where it goes. Right, so we are here at today's community-wide garage sale, and it's about 15 minutes before 8. Um, this is always like a mixed bag for me. I always find enough to keep me coming back the next year, and so we'll see if that continues this year. It is a really cool town in terms of just uh, landmarks and cool stuff like that, uh, but it does also have a pawn store, a Goodwill, um, a video game store and kind of like a junk reseller store that has a bunch of buy sell trade stuff So uh, we'll see what we can find. I'll bring you along. I'm seeing some signs here and uh, we'll get the day started Two sales here struck out at both of them. And so my question for you YouTube uh, Put it in the comments below is the guy had VHS tapes for a dollar and I probably would have bought four of them at a quarter a piece uh, my old Goodwill used to charge a quarter a piece, then they went up to 35 cents before they stopped carrying them, and now they're back at 50 cents. But what is the price that you would pay for just generally VHS tapes that you're looking to maybe sell or flip, um, or even keep for your own collection? So I don't know. I'm curious. What do other people pay for VHS tapes? Is a dollar an acceptable price? And I'm crazy. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I appreciate it. We'll keep on hunting. Here we go, breaking the ice with a little Tetris link. I paid three bucks, um, but all the pieces inside are new, haven't been opened, so pretty good deal there. Pretty nice lady at this garage sale, so uh, we'll keep moving. Third sale today, and I already found something, so looking up. Well, I struck out at about a dozen sales, but I finally found something. So I got Lost Planet 2 for 75 cents. At the same sale, they had this PlayStation 3 
that they said didn't work, so I could just have it. So there you go. That's cool. It's got some cables there. So that was a win. Uh, the other sale had two sets of these VHSCs for ten cents each, so that should be a pretty good deal. And then I hit some seventy-five cent DVDs, a quarter for whatever this rocket ship is, and a quarter for this sealed Walking Dead game. So. Uh, did pretty well there uh, for three sales in a row. Let's get back at it, see if we can't pick something up. It's still not even nine, so a lot of places haven't opened up. Uh, but yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of striking out in this town, but hopefully we can find enough to at least make it interesting to watch. A few more sales. Picked up this cool Dare uh, duffel bag for a quarter. Uh, dollar TI-30 with the case that says TI, so that's pretty cool. The ET board game for 50 cents, but no box, just the board game. Um, that's kind of interesting. A whole bunch of vintage hats like this for a quarter apiece. I got five of them, different styles. And an in-the-case Polaroid camera for 75 cents. So finally hitting some deals, some good stuff coming here. So uh, let's see if we can keep it rolling. A little back alley sale and spent 10 bucks on this Golden Girls from 1985. I don't know uh, anything about that. Um, but that's kind of cool. And then... Uh, I got that for 10 bucks because I paid 10 bucks for all these. There's like a dozen Barbies up here and a bunch of clothes. My friend Howard always says, spend a buck a piece. So I should be able to get 10 back out of that. And a $2 Magnavox free timer, cool looking kind of ghetto blaster type of uh, old boom box. So that should be pretty cool. So uh, the day continues and let's get some more Golden Girls. Probably have to do breakouts of these things, but I picked up a bunch of PlayStation games and Harry Potter movies for 50 cents each. And then I picked up a PlayStation 2, a ton of games, and well, the games are all faced the wrong way, and the Vault uh, Collector's Edition for five bucks. So I paid 30, well, 25 for the PS2 and all the games, and five for the Vault owners. So hopefully that was worth 30 bucks. So there you go. All right, we'll keep hunting. This is just a huge garage sale. 50 cents at that big sale. It's a really beat up, rusted Buddy L, but uh, for a quarter, I have a friend I think could take that. And this thing is Dirt Bike Kid. That is the coolest cover art. I just couldn't pass that up. I have a friend who loves bikes and dirt bikes and motorcycles, so uh, for 15 cents, that's a deal. Hit up the uh, cash land, and I'm at the Goodwill here. So I spent 22 bucks at Cashland. I got Space Marine, the Ultimate Edition of Fallout Vegas. Driver seems like a tough pull um, for the Wii. Uh, dollar for the uh, Grand Theft Auto and uh, the Red Dead. And this is a surprisingly hard game to find. Be on the lookout for Ridge Racer Unbounded. You just don't see it that often and it kind of has a premium. So there was that. Um, what did I pull out of the Goodwill here? Uh, $1 He-Man puzzle, so pretty cool. Who knows if it's all there, but interesting nonetheless. Uh, $2.29 games, uh, Super Mario Brothers Wii, and The Sims 2 Pets, which I had to look up, I think is like an $8 or a $10 game, so uh, that looked pretty good. And then to top it all off, and I just bought one of these recently, and it sold really well, um, the OG copy of Scream, and this one's in, or Scream, uh, Halloween, and this one's in much better shape, so... Pretty stoked about that. There you go. Uh, we'll do a little more hunting, but it's almost 11 o'clock. Well past golden hour. I don't know if we'll find much, but uh, pretty good finds here so far. Well, I ended up hitting two in town after I hit up the post office, and so I picked up <laughs> this lighted Michelob sign for five bucks. That was too hard to pass up. And, uh, well, let's see. We got some stuff in the front seat. We'll do it slob style here and just walk around and show you. Um, so I picked that up and all this stuff so um these look pretty good they were all bagged up inside and so i kind of have a thing for these board games too so um they were marked three a piece i asked for two a piece i got them for five for the pair so not a bad deal pretty cool stuff um 50 cents for these sealed cases these are pretty good last time i picked these up it's been a while since i found a sealed box i was getting 10 bucks out of them so that was pretty good uh that's I just haven't listened to that Jack Johnson CD, so that was a pickup for me. Uh, 50 cents, Dumb and Dumber soundtrack. Quarter for the Pokemon book. Two bucks for the Power Rangers. There's no manual or card inside, but I'm hoping two bucks isn't a bad price. 
uh, 50 cents each, but I got one for free of the Mario movies, the planes on Blu-ray. Turbo is just the DVD. There's no Blu-ray in it. And the Adams Family, so still sealed. Pretty cool stuff. So that ends the day. Uh, it was awesome coming out YouTube. I appreciate you watching and following along, and hopefully I'll get some prices, let you know what some things sold for. Um, other than that, keep on grinding, and hit me up in the comments. Is $1 too much for VHSs? You thought I was going to let that go. I'm not letting that go.